So, integrate each of the following. So, second, integrate each of the following with respect to x. So, here you see here. So, we know that. So, for integration, we add power with 1 and then we divide power which is opposite with what we did in differentiation. So, we see here a. So, we have 5x squared minus 3x cubed divided by x. So, we see here we can divide by x individually. So, 5x squared divided by x minus 3x cubed divided by x. So, here you get 5x minus so 3x cubed divided by x, you get x squared. Right? So, when you integrate this one, so integrate 5x minus 3x squared. So, we see here we have the x here, which means you are, difference, uh, you are integrating with respect to x. So, you have unknown x right here. So, here you will have, so add power with 1 and divide power. So, add power with 1, 5. So, x would be x. x is equal to x power of 1, right? So, 1 plus 1 divided by power. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, you divide with 2. So, minus 3. So, here is x power of 2. So, x add power with 1. So, 2 plus 1 divided by 3. After you finish, settle everything. Don't forget to add up your C because we don't know what constant we have. So, this is constant which is equal to 5 over 2. So, this one is x squared minus 3. So, here, look at this one and this one can be cancelled out. So, this one would be x cubed plus C. So, b 6x cubed plus 2x squared divided by 2x squared. So, if you can cancel out you don't want to have the fraction, it will be easier. So here, 2x cubed divided by 2x squared plus 2x squared divided by 2x squared. So this one divided by this one, you get 3x cubed divided by x squared, you get x. So this one, you get 1. So when you integrate 3x plus 1 dx, so 3x, you add the power with 1, so you get x squared divided by so, add power with 1, because this one is 1. Add power with 1, divide with the power. Plus, so 1, you will get x. After you settle everything, don't forget to add c. Unless you have the value here, then only you can remove c afterward. Okay, but you will learn that later on. So, here you have 3 over 2, x squared plus x plus c. C, 5 minus 6x cubed. Okay. So here, for example, if you have 2x plus 3 cubed, when you differentiate, what will happen is that you will bring the power forward, right? 2x plus 3, and then you minus the power with 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. And after that, you have to multiply with the differentiation inside the bracket. So you see, multiply with differentiation. So here, 3, 2x plus 3, 2. This one is 2, so you get 6, 2x plus 3, square. So we know that for integration, we will do it in oppositely. So since this one, we have to multiply with differentiation. So for integration later on, we have to divide. We have to divide this. Divide with integration. So in this case, you have this one, right? So, what will happen is, we have to add power. So, integration of 5 minus 6x cubed dx. So, you need to add the power with 1. So, you get 5 plus 6x. So, you add 1, you get 4. So, here, you divide the power. See, you add the power with 1. Then, you divide the power. So, you see, this one, you multiply with the differentiation. Here, you need to divide with this differentiation. So, when you differentiate this one, 5 will become 0, negative 6x will become negative 6. See? So, after you settle this one, you need to add C. So, you see, it's just the opposite of what you do in differentiation. So, since this one, you need to multiply. So, this one, you need to divide. Which is equal to, so here, 4 times negative 6 is negative 1 over 24. 5 minus 6x power of 4. And this one is plus C. Pengasuh lah. Siannya. 
So d 1 over, so this one for 5 minus 2x, which is equal to 1 over 5 minus 2x, power of 1 over 4. So you need to bring it up, which is 5 minus 2x, this one would be negative 1 over 4. So same concept with what we did in C. So integration of 5 minus 2x negative 1 over 4 dx is equal to. So what happens when you have bracket, you need to add the power with 1. So here you get 5 minus 2x negative 1 over 4 plus 1. So you can calculate directly negative 1 over 4 plus 1, you get 3 over 4. Or you can directly write everything and put down and calculate later on. Okay. So you see here when you have bracket, after you divide with power, before this, you need to multiply with differentiation. But in this case, you need to divide with differentiation inside the bracket. So when you differentiate this one, so 5 will become 0, negative 2 you will get negative 2. Right, negative 2 x you will get negative 2. So this is what happened. So after you integrate what is the bracket, then you need to add up C, don't forget. So here... Five minus two x. This one is three over four. So three over four times two here negative two. You get negative three over two, right? Plus c. So you see here when you have over here means you need to bring up the two, which is equal to two five minus two x power of three over four divided by. So you see negative three is equal to negative three plus c.